Now, uh, recently, uh, President Bush, uh, you probably heard all about this, commuted the sentence of Scooter Libby. You know, he was supposed to go to jail for like two years, and President Bush stepped in at the last minute, and he said, no, that's a harsh punishment. We're going to commute the sentence. Mm -hmm. You still have to pay your fine, Scooter. Yeah. <laughs> you still have to do your community service, Scooter. Scooter. But we just are not comfortable sending a guy named Scooter to prison. No. <laughs> so he stepped in, and he called it off. Called the whole thing off. Yes. Well, it's highly controversial, but ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Scooter Libby is here tonight. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, do me a favor. Say hello to Scooter Libby. <laughs> Scooter, nice to see you. Thank you very nice much for joining you. us. How's your summer going so far? So far, pretty good. Good, pretty I guess good. so. Uh, now, we have some questions. We passed out questionnaires before the program, and if you don't mind asking some, answering some questions from the audience. Fine. Okay. Uh, this first one is from uh, Bert Lazarus, Miami, Florida. Did Vice President Cheney leak the identity of CIA agent Valerie Plame? Well, that's the question everybody wants to know. No, but I did want to see him take a leak in the White House Rose Garden. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hello! No one's safe tonight! Okay, Scooter. Whoa! All right, fine. Uh, Tina Russell from Denver, Colorado, have you begun your 400 hours of court-ordered community service? What? You think I'm on this piece of crap show by choice? We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Uh, Edward Dillingham... <laughs> Portland, Oregon, what were your duties as Dick Cheney's chief of staff? What were your duties as Dick Cheney's chief of staff? I can describe them in three letters. C-P-R. Wow, look at that. Nice job, Shooter. Uh, Kevin Gannon from Albany, New York. Do you have any regrets? Any regrets, Scooter? Yeah, I shouldn't have gone with the nickname Scooter. <laughs> crane pose. The crane kick. There's no defense. <laughs> Could I see that again? <laughs> oh. Wow. That's no, no defense. defense. There's no defense. Yeah. That's, that's a karate kid reference. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Henry Smith, Trumbull, Connecticut. Are you, are, oh, are you the fall guy? Yeah, that's what everybody wants to know. Are you the fall guy, Scooter? Yes, but the country needs President Bush and Vice President Cheney to be in charge because <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be able to get, to, <laughs> get through that without laughing. Yeah. <laughs> keep okay. dancing, Scooter. You got to keep dancing. Keep dancing, Scooter. You gotta keep dancing. Keep dancing, Scooter. You okay, gotta keep, keep dancing, dancing, Scooter. Keep dancing, Scooter. You gotta keep dancing. Okay. Doug Matheson, uh, Annapolis, Maryland, wants to know, in addition to your political career, you've also written a novel. Are you working on a book right now? Yes, it's called A Thousand and One Signs You Might Be a Disgraced Former White House Official Convicted of Perjury, Making False Statements, and Obstruction of Justice. <laughs> If you go to family reunions to meet women, you might be a disgraced former White House official convicted of perjury, making false statements, and obstruction of justice. All right. Our next question is from Tom Bezo, Woodstock, Vermont. Can you explain the difference between commuting a sentence and an outright pardon? Good question. Who do I look like, Judge? Judy? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, 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 out of order. hey, 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 Scooter? Scooter? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought that question was for you. Fear me! Fear me, he says. Uh, 
Uh, Tom Lennon, Huntington, West Virginia, what have you learned from this entire experience? I learned a valuable lesson that I want all the kids to hear. You can avoid consequences if you're friends with rich, powerful ass. USA! 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 You, you know, I didn't think so before, but now I know. You would have been fine in prison. You would have done just fine. I would have had fun, sure. Yeah. Um, Art Mitchell, Montgomery, Alabama. Both you and Paris Hilton uh, made headlines last month uh, for your prison sentences. Have you ever met Paris Hilton? That's an interesting question, uh, too. No, but we do have a lot in common. For example, we've both devoted our lives to servicing d Scooter Libby, Michelle Pfeiffer, Jonah Hill, Michelle Lozier. We'll be right back tonight's top ten list, everybody.